down. Um, was she like sick before she passed? And um, but then it was like she was okay, and then it was like then she died. Um, yes, because she felt like she was like she got a count. She got some extra time. It was you know one of those moments where you know she got to she got to be able to say and do and take care of uh, before she left. And she wants you to do that now. You know, say and do. Act like every day is your last day. Don't wait, you know, till the end. You know, we these, you know, I got a real issue with uh, bedside cushions. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, it's like, mm, you know, I take care of it in the moment. Take care of it. Uh, take care, but take care of it. Um, don't wait. Don't wait for your cam. Um, okay. Um, again, she's like handing you some pearl necklace. Um, and pearls to me represent a purity of heart. Uh, they represent, um, you know, the whole encompassing of what energy is because it's land, uh, sea, all the elements. And that's what we are. Um, and she's putting this on you, like over your neck, over your neck, on your neck. She's putting it around you. And kissing the top of your head. So expressing so much love for you. Okay? And just mm-hmm. wants you to be, you know, all that you are. Um, who's Freddie? Freddie. Frederick, Freddie, Frederick. Freddie. Um, Freddie, Freddie. Wow. We have a, a Freddie here now. Um, or maybe Teddy? What do you like? Uh, what is. I mean, I said Freddie. Uh, trying to say Frederick, and he's like, you know, showing me like he's this teddy bear. Um. So it feels like another family member here that um, possibly, uh, he wants to say Tio, uh, another uncle. Um, he likes, he likes, he's like, he's a shorter man, um, kind of a big belly. I mean, he got protruded because it feels like he had back issues. Uh, so his belly kind of protruded out. Um, Probably died from liver issues. Um, well, pink, you know, like, like alcoholic. Um, um, that doesn't ring a bell. I just, we'll just hold this because it's, it's right here, and I do. And now I feel, I feel like back issues. I feel like his whole. I mean, again, like I'm trying to say it's an alcoholic, but he's trying to say it's not an alcoholic. He's trying to say that, again, that like if you're relating his issues to what your issues are, um, and uh, not to ignore them, not to ignore the issues you're having. So, and again, it's not like I rush to the doctor, but start herbally treating um, for intestinal stuff that is flesh. Because um, he's like... Uh, and again, he feels like he's in his 50s. I mean, you might look. He might be somebody who passed away. He feels like t- a t- a t- a t- um, He's saying to I don't know. And Freddie. He's saying Freddie. So this might be somebody who's, you know, even like. Either way, I would take this as the um, a family issue is what is happening okay. intestinally and with the with the gallbladder and um, I don't know. I have no. I I'm I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a doctor, uh, but at the same time, there is you know. Um, I was feeling that, and you confirmed that, and then now 
um, I don't know who this is, how far back he is, but as far as him coming through and um, showing me, again, his stomach and, you know, the whole area, and then the back issue, you know, that pain. <laughs> yeah, that little pain. Yeah. It's a jabbing pain, too. It's like someone sticking a knife in you. Um, yes. Yeah. It's not like a, you know, I, I pulled. Yeah, it's right over here. Yeah. So which means it's not a muscular thing. It's a, it's more organ related. Not that muscles aren't an organ. <laughs> but it's a different one. Um, okay. Oh my goodness. Um, And then I'm like, they're, they're, I feel like they're taking me right up through um, into your yellow chakra. Um, so you get like a lot of intuition. Uh, do you feel psychic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a denial. <laughs> but more than I want to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say a lot until after our reading's done, but. Yeah, I have some questions about that. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Because, um, yeah, I was like, um, <laughs> go ahead and ask your questions then, because this is it. that's where they're taking me. What? Um, um, okay, well, hang on before you ask your question. Um, um, they're showing me. Uh, did you have an encounter with an Indian uh, man uh, in spirit? Um he looked like Indian with a, and had a pipe, what you want to call a peace pipe, but it was just a pipe. It wasn't like a peace pipe, it was just a pipe. Um, uh, and you could have even had this when you were younger, um, but you've been psychic your whole life. So, uh, no, not with an Indian man. Okay. I, I've seen a lot, but not an Indian man. Okay. They're showing me that, and it's usually something when they show me that it's one of your first experiences or, um, and again, like doorways and stuff that are opened up after that first experience. So, and, you know, again, it feels like when you were younger, like six, seven years old. Yeah. Did you live near a reservation? Where do you live? Where did you live when you were six? It's a, it's a, it's, it's a far west Texas, and it's El Paso, Texas. It's a border town. Okay, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all right, I don't want to, I don't want to say too much, but I just recently did my DNA through Ancestry. And okay, okay. I came and back, right. yeah, forty-seven percent Native American. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a bit. I love spirit. Um, um, okay. Right. So makes sense then. Uh, why wow, that would be your first encounter. And again, it, it kind of scared you. You know, you were six, you know, seven years old. Uh, and, I, and it feels like, he, you know, because I, I have him boldly still with you. Um, you know, all right. So it's like he's been, you know, that's part of you as part of who's around you. Um, and that. You know, they they have um, such belief in their spiritual world, okay, just as much as their physical world. So they definitely, and like I was saying, you have family members that, you know, can die and, you know, they'll be your, your guide in three months, you know, because that's just the kind of lineage of the, the belief that gets carried, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody has that. <laughs> like I said, I, some psychics, it, you know, fight me on the issue. Oh, family members that just passed away can't be your spirit guides. I'm like, mm. <laughs> I could be you know, for my kids if I, when I pass away, you know, I could come back as their guy. It's my belief, right? So. So you have that kind of lineage then, um, and that heritage and yeah. So, um, let me see if he uh, shows me anything more that can give you, um, because names are tricky. <laughs> <laughs> names are tricky because you know, um, 
and again, um, more symbolisms, uh, like, like the hawk. All right, so he's showing me a hawk. So it has more to do with, a, you know, maybe a hawk tribe, um, mm. hawk clan, uh, or he was referred to as hawk. Uh, and it would be, then in any case, he's also heavily smoking on his pipe. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, 